A federal government shutdown south of the border is causing some people here to rethink their travel plans. There is a sliver of hope, though, in the U.S. budget impasse. President Obama has invited House and Senate leaders to the White House this evening for a meeting. Some 800,000 federal workers are off the job and not getting paid as a stalemate continues between Republicans and Democrats over Obama's health care overhaul. But as Terry Vote reports, for the most part, it's been business as usual at the Coot Sweetgrass border crossing south of Lethbridge. Well, I'm hoping we do not have a problem going down there or coming back. There may be a political mess south of the 49th, but that isn't going to stop Barbara and Roger Romble from traveling to Great Falls to celebrate their anniversary. We're going to do some shopping and play the machines, do a few things. Like many cross-border travelers, the Rombos have been keeping an eye on developments in the United States. Jared Zakis makes the trip two or three times a month to pick up custom auto parts. He was happy to discover there wasn't much difference. You know, the standard procedures, you got any weapons, alcohol, knives, anything like that? No, go on ahead. So. I haven't personally noticed any impact. Truck driver Anthony Beasley is taking a shipment of iron from Salt Lake City to Wetaskiwin. He's been hearing a lot about the shutdown on the radio and suspects they might be feeling the impact back home in Idaho. They're just saying that all these government people are being laid off and a lot of tourist towns are uh, going down to part-time for those employees that rely on tourists because a lot of parks and recs are closed down. And for many travelers, that's one of the big concerns. Uh, we planned on stopping at the national parks on our way to Texas and uh, might not get to. And while Republicans and Democrats may be firmly entrenched and don't seem to be going anywhere, this Louisiana trucker plans to keep pushing on. It may have some slowdown on some of our paperwork and stuff. Hopefully it won't impact us too bad. Well, essential services like border security, air traffic control, and food safety inspections are still being provided. Experts say the shutdown will likely cause delays in U.S. visa and passport applications. What do we think? Send, send the politicians to jail and keep paying our civil employees. <laughs> How about that? What I hear mostly is they're going to have problems with uh, uh, trucks and stuff uh, that are taking uh, stuff in there. So I'm just taking the wife, so I think I should be all right. <laughs> Those who work here at the border say this kind of a lineup is pretty normal for midweek and this time of day. But they wonder what will happen if the U.S. shutdown continues after Thanksgiving, when snowbirds traditionally start heading south. Terry Vogt, CTV News, at the Canada-U.S. border.